In this video, we will see the types of views that are being used in ABAP dictionary. So let us look at the types here. So there are four types of views that is database view, projection view and help view and at the last we have maintenance view. So in this video, we will see about the database view. So a particular view that is created on two or more than two tables by clubbing the fields using inner join. It is called as database view. So in this particular database view, we are using making use of inner joins. So in this view, we can only read the data and we cannot perform any maintenance operations. So there is another view known as maintenance view. In that case, we can also perform maintenance operations. So since the database view is only using the inner join, it selects only matching records between the tables. Moreover, it can also include the whole entire table itself. So in this case, we can see it is also including the whole entire table. So from the table A, it is selecting the field 1 and from the table B, it is selecting the full table. And from the table C, it is selecting only the field 8. Now let us look at the database view in detail. So suppose there is a business requirement that is to develop a database view uh, on Mara table and MAKT table. So from the Mara table we have these fields and MAKT table we have SPRAS and MAKTX. So for this we have to go to SE11 that is ABAP dictionary and select the radio button view and give a particular name. Suppose we are giving the name as ZDB view1 and then we have to click on create and then we can see there is a pop up here with this for uh, with these uh, values here that is database view, projection view, maintenance view and help view. So in this case we are making a database view. So we will select this database view and click on copy. Then we will get this particular screen here which has multiple tabs here that is attributes, table, slash join condition, view fields, selection condition, maintenance status. So, so in this case we will select the table slash join condition and we will provide the tables name here. So we had to uh, club the fields from two tables that is Mara and MAKTX. So we are providing our tables here and then uh, we will provide our join condition. So on, on what basis we have to join our tables. Then we have to click on the view, tab, view and fields tab and there would be a button named as table fields. And then we have to click on double click on Mara table and select the fields matner what all fields we have to choose from there we are uh, copying all these fields from Mara table and from the MAKT table we have two fields that is SPRAS and MAKTX. Then we have to go to selection condition tab and provide our condition and based on this we have to save it check it and activate it and then we have to click on the content icon and at the last we have to execute our button. So what will happen our view will be created based on these two tables. Now let us see the database view practically. So here we have to select our view here and provide a name that is ZDB view and click on create and make sure it is database view itself and we have to provide a short description. Let's say database view itself. That's done. Save it. Local object. Okay. So let us say our business requirement here is to develop a database view on the table Mara and MAKT. So these two are our table. So MA Mara and MAKT. So to display the fields that is Matner, MTART, MBRSH, MEINS, SPRAS, MAKTX. So from the table Mara we have four fields and from the table MAKT we have two fields that is SPRAS and SPRAS and MAKTX. So that's done. We have defined our tables here. Then we have our join condition on what basis our tables are joining. So here we will write Mara and we have a field name as MANDT. Similarly in MAKT we have this field MANDT. Then we have another field in Mara that is MANDIT. That is our client number. So in MAKT also we have this field. So that's done. We will save it. So here in the view, we have to select uh, the table and Mara. So from our business requirement, we had four fields from Mara. That is Matner, MTART, MBRSH, and MEINS. So let's select all these fields 
and metnl here and we have mtart mbrsh and at the last meins so that's done so here we can see view fields are here the table corresponding tables are also here so the description is coming here so that's done now we have to go to selection condition so here we have to provide some condition on the basis of which our database table would be appearing so suppose we have a table that is MAKT so we have to select the table fields and click on MAKT and just select the field names SPRAS and MAKTX so these two were the fields we just copy here and we have to provide some condition here so let's say equals to and comparison value here is EN so SPRAS is uh, for language so we have given the comparison value as EN and MAKT X is for basically it is for uh, material description let me just save it and let me just double click on the table MAKT and let's say uh, go to utilities table contents and display here so here I will be just taking an example from MAKTX so let's say we are taking this particular example that is Sony Sunny so here we can see the matner number is 000 and 578 so let us take this particular example I will just copy this and so that's done I will go back there and here in the EQ provide the operator as EQ itself and the comparison values would be Sony Sunny so that's done and here also we have to provide and and or condition so let us see I have just provided all here I have saved it check it okay some warnings coming we can ignore it and activate it so that's done so if I go to utilities and go to contents and run it so here we can see all the data here coming uh, in the database view so in the MEINS we have all these data MTRT, MBRS and the matner also so that's it for this particular database view thanks for watching